Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, this is a bit interesting what I'm about to do here. So this computer right here is from like 2009 or 2010. It hasn't been turned on in about seven or eight years. It was only used for a little bit. So I'm going to disassemble it. We're gonna look at all the parts, including the processor, the motherboard, all that stuff. We're gonna take it completely apart. We're gonna look at it, examine it, do close-up shots and stuff. And we're just gonna see what technology was used in a computer like this almost 10 years ago. And I'm just doing this because I'm interested. Back in the day, I wasn't really interested in computers or computer parts. Now I am, and I'm interested to see uh, what's going on inside of this computer. Now keep in mind that I'm not gonna know what many of the parts are or exactly what models of processor and motherboard and stuff like that. So it's just gonna be cool looking at it, but I'm not gonna be completely sure, you know, if it's a dual core processor, or, you know, anything like that. So this should be fun. Stay tuned for the ride. This could be a long video. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. It's my first time doing this sort of video, so it should be interesting. By the way, I'm using a little tool kit here. Everything you need is pretty much like a, a screwdriver, but we do have like a, all these little essential bits and stuff. A little screwdriver and you know just a bunch of stuff um, it's actually the Fantex computer kit something like that I'll link it down below it's about $20 on eBay and Amazon so if you guys want to check it out uh, the link will be down below uh, just keep in mind I have opened it before just to make sure there weren't any you know like animals and stuff because it's been in my garage and I, I don't want to deal with any spiders or roaches or stuff like that so yeah I have opened it before but we're gonna see you know in depth uh, what's in it. So let's get right to it. Again, let's just take a quick look around the case here. We got a DVD drive right there, a couple of SD card readers, uh, a USB 2.0 port. We got Intel, uh, Intel, Intel Pentium inside, more USB ports, a power button. I believe that lit up at some point. And I believe this computer came from Hyundai, which is a little bit weird. I didn't know Hyundai made computers. I am iMicro power supply, a bunch of dust. I did open it, but I didn't really clean much of it, so. All right, so let's go inside. Now, right off the bat, the cable management is horrible. Uh, so we're just gonna disconnect a bunch of stuff and we'll see where this goes. By the way, I'm not using a, an a ESD strap or anything like that, because I'm not even sure if this computer works. I don't have the power cable, so I can't plug it in or anything like that. So I'm just, I'm gonna assume it's not working. If I find the power cable later, then I'll plug it in and see if it works. But at this point, I mean, it's been in the garage for like seven years. I doubt I'll need it. Let's just take a moment to acknowledge that Intel duster. I mean, Intel cooler. It looks like a duster. I mean, it's really dusty right there. I don't even want to blow it because then it's going to be dust all over the place. And all those mustard cables, that's horrible. Even the, even the motherboard is a bit colorful blue uh, PCB and then, you know, green ports, orange ports, and very colorful, very weird. All right, let's keep going. Uh, check that out. Looks like most of the thermal paste just disappeared. Maybe the application of it wasn't even that good, but yeah, check that out. Oh, that's gross. Interesting though. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna replace or remove the power supply. All right, so this is a very old power supply. Let me get straight out. So let's check out the specifications on it. So we got uh, five volt, twelve volt. Yeah, yeah. What um, what rating is it? Is it a four hundred watt? Does it say anywhere? Not completely sure, but it's not like 80 plus, 80 plus bronze or anything like that. Super dusty, mustard yellow cables. And now time for the CPU, which is right here. It's actually a little bit on the, or it's sideways. So we're gonna pop this off, remove it real quick. And yeah, here it is. The CPU, let's actually zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's very interesting, and first of all, the, what do you call it, I'm not sure if someone opened it before me, but the thermal paste is just like scraped off completely. I don't know what happened there, but let's check out what processor it is. It's the Intel 86 e ES, wait, E5300 Pentium Dual Core SLGTL Costa Rica 2.6 GHz 2M. Very interesting. 
Here's it have a little closer right there. Hopefully y'all could read it. Very interesting. Not completely sure what kind of processor it was, but it is dual core, that's what it says right there. Which is still kind of relevant, there are a lot of dual core processors out there. I know that even the i3, the Coffee Lake one, is, is becoming 4 core. Uh, the latest one, the i3-80-100 or something like that. That one's 4 core, every you know processor is at least 4 cores nowadays. But yeah, very interesting. I'm actually going to put this back because I don't want to lose it. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to replace, or we're going to remove uh, the motherboard. Well, before that, I'm just going to take out the Wi-Fi card. So we got, I believe it's a Wi-Fi card because it has the antenna. Very interesting. I don't think this has a model number or anything like that. Oh, it actually does. We got 802.11G wireless, Mac 00212F31, DOE7, Airlink 101. So this is a wireless card. Very interesting because we don't really see these nowadays. Many motherboards are coming in with wireless technology. Or people just have their computers sucked up via Ethernet, so you know, it's very interesting to see this. Once again, it's a learning process here. I'm just doing this for knowledge. Is that the CMOS battery right there? I've never seen it like that in a vertical position. It's always laying down flat in a horizontal position. So I've never seen a CMOS battery like that. I don't. I believe that's a CMOS battery because I don't see it anywhere else. I just see a bunch of capacitors and you know a bunch of motherboard stuff. But that's weird. I've never seen it like that. Tell me in the comment section below if that's common. Or maybe it's just like old technology. That's very interesting. Let's see what's up with this RAM. Okay. So, once again, very interesting here. We got Super Talents. Never heard of them. We got one gig of RAM. Are you, are you serious? This is one gig of RAM. Man, it hasn't even been 10 years and like... Computers actually came with one gig of RAM? I mean, mine has 16. But like 8 is starting to be the minimum, even 16 for many people is like the minimum. For gaming you should have 16, at least 8, but you know, really you should have 16 if you want to get a, a high performing computer. Very interesting, and the DIMM, I mean what is this, DDR2 or something? Yeah it says DDR2, 800. Alright, so now we're gonna remove the motherboard. Once again, I don't really care if I, you know, mess this up or something. For all I know, it doesn't even work. So once again, we got the processor in there with the socket. It looks like an LGA 1151 socket. I could be wrong though. Got a bunch of little capacitors, stuff like that. Let's check out the input output here. We got some PS2 cables. I believe that's VGA or DSUP. I'm not completely sure. A couple of USB ports here. It's not fully focusing. There we go. A bunch of, like, I believe that's audio. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So man, very interesting. We got some SATA 1, SATA 2, more SATA ports. Uh, we got some front panel connectors right there. USB, this thing actually, didn't see this before. Let's see if I could take it out. I can't, but like the header of a, of a cable actually got stuck in there, that USB one. There's no cable coming out of it, it just got stuck in there. That's what he said. We got two PCIe slots. I believe, oh wait, never mind, this is a PCIe slot. Oh, uh, this is just like expansion slots. I guess these are all it's expansion slots. I'm not completely sure on their names. Uh, two RAM sticks. Again, it came with one gig, one module of one gig, and the CMOS battery right there. Uh, I could be wrong about everything I said about the motherboard. I'm not completely, you know, familiar with all of this, but I, I do know quite a bit, a little bit. And this looks like a micro ATX uh, motherboard. It's not a full ATX. So now we're going to remove the hard drive and the DVD drive. I believe this one has two screws here and one on the other side. I already removed the other panel, so it should be easy. Okay, so let's check this out. Barracuda 7200. Let's check out. Uh, 250 gig hard drive. At least it's a 7200, so these aren't you know completely old. We still got hard drives today. Uh, that have 7200 uh, revolutions per minute. 250 gigs is a little bit low. We got hard drives of 1000 gigs. Even 500 gig ones are becoming a little bit rare. We got a terabyte SSDs. I actually have a 500 SSD right here. Uh, so yeah, this is a little bit short on the storage side. 
but the in terms of hard drives in general they're still irrelevant so this isn't too old could still be used today but 250 gigs once again it's just it's too, too small and now we're gonna take off the DVD drive eight screws total that was a lot and this slides right out and here we go all right so this is an LG uh, super multi DVD drive. I believe it did read and write. We don't know about them anymore because computers like mine don't even have DVD drives. Even the ones from like Dell, the, one, the pre-built ones that you could buy don't really come with DVD drives. Laptops don't come with DVD drives unless they're like dinosaurs. Uh, but yeah, you don't really see these anymore. So these are pretty much old, everything's digital. All right, so to recap this disassembly, we got the motherboard, we got the cables, the mustard cables with the power supply. What else? We got the Wi-Fi card, the processor cooler, we got the RAM stick right there, we have the DVD drive and the hard drive. What are we missing? The processor is in here, so, and the case. So everything is completely disassembled. Now we're just gonna reassemble it I'll try to make this like a little time lapse, but yeah, we're gonna reassemble it and let's. That's actually, that's pretty nasty. There's a spider web in there as well. I hope there's no spiders with it, but there is a lot of dust right here with the cables, with the front panel connectors. Check out that front fan right there. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, we discovered a lot of interesting things on this PC build. Uh, too bad I can't turn it on, I don't, I don't have the power cable for the power supply, so I can't turn it on now, but if I find it I will plug it in and check out what's in it. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.